Scorpio. Yes, it is March. It is springtime in England at least, and you certainly do have a spring in your step. Things kick off to make you quite excited by life and you're opening up your heart to new experiences and you're feeling as if you want to kind of be very optimistic about life. There's lots of pleasure, there's lots of joy, there's lots of creativity this month. It really is, fingers crossed, going to be a fabulous time for you. Kicks off with that energy right there when Mercury on the 5th goes into the 5th, which is the house of soulmates, pleasure, joy, all the wonderful things in life wrapped up. Um, and so you're very optimistic and outgoing when you speak to people more so than usual and Mars is grounding you and you're very close to Mars so Mars you know when Mars shifts you shift and Mars is making you feel very determined that you're thinking about your finances who you are in the world but you've got your feet on the ground the new super moon on the 8th is in your position of joy and happiness but as it's a total solar eclipse, it may be that you're discovering a new way to find pleasure in life, a new way to experience happiness and creativity. And certainly if you do anything creative or you're interested in creativity, and this is a time where you will blossom and transform and you're opening up to that. Mercury's conjunct Neptune on the 11th in that position. You could have the most magical conversation on the 11th that kind of makes you go wow, but also makes your heart soar. And on the 12th, Venus, the planet of love, is entering that energy and a five planet stellium. You know, be careful how high with happiness you get around that time, because, you know, it's extreme moments, hopefully this month, where you'll feel as if you, you know, are totally ecstatic and uh, happy and all your worries feel lifted. Even if you are having the most terrible time, which I know Obviously, some people who are listening are going through a dreadful time and probably don't feel that there's light. Honestly, this month should give you deep healing, even in the most painful times, which is good news. Mercury is square Saturn on the 14th and Venus is square Mars on the 14th. And the 14th is the tricky, worrying day of the month. So just be cautious about what you say on the 14th. That is your only word of warning. There may be some stubbornness or some excess behavior. But, you know, later on in the the day the moon is trying Jupiter which is trining Pluto so it should all's well that ends well hopefully Pluto is also on the 16th trining Jupiter again and that is making you feel positive it's giving you a great energy when connecting to groups of people by tuning into the one consciousness by being aware that you are fully here for a purpose and you've got something important to say now the energy starts to shift on the 20th as it enters your position of health and well-being and your mind turns to that. How do I look after myself? But not before, also on the 20th, where Venus conjuncts Neptune and there is one hell of a soul connection or chemistry with someone and hopefully an experience that transcends any normality. It takes you on, out of this world into a different realm. It's such an important day. But uh, from then on, you're thinking about health and well-being as well. On the 21st, Mercury is making you very careful what you commit to and what you say. Perhaps you committed to something or said something and it turned out not the way that you expected. So you're looking at it in a different way. Look out for some profound insight on the 23rd where the full moon is making you on a spiritual high. But it could be, make sure it's leading you in the right direction because you're also feeling kind of very romantic, very hazy. You might have the desire to lose yourself in sex and drugs and rock and roll on that day. Or the other side of that is you have some serious spiritual revelations. Mercury is trying Mars on the 24th. You're, you've got a, if you've got something that you want to achieve, that's a great day to achieve it. You're working hard, you're digging in. Saturn is going retrograde to say to you, hmm, was there a way that you could make money or feel more secure in your life that you didn't follow through? It's taking you back to the past. And on the 25th, the Venus is opposite Jupiter. It's a good day to go out and about and meet extraordinary people. All in all, looks like a fine month indeed for you. Do enjoy and let me know what happens at the end of the month in the comments section. And if you want to read more about this, obviously go to my website where there's whole chunks of writing about what's happening this month. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.
If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.